el Yoritec. Bueno, mi gente, el Yoritec, aquí le vamos a presentar un Mitsubishi Lancer Radial 2.4. Mi Beck, le vamos a estar haciendo le, la, este, cambio de la cabeza. Vamos a estar utilizando la Hyundai Sonata Cabeza de 2003 a 2005, si no me equivoco bien. Este, vamos a estar utilizando esa cabeza en la misma que la de Evo. Como pueden ver por aquí, la, la, la acabo de sacar la cabeza OEM de 4G69. I just removed the head from the 4G69 head. Um, I install the Evo 8 inner cooler. This is a JDN Sport Evo inner cooler and piping. Um, it will fit right there. It will bolt on. Stop OEM. It will bolt on right there with the inner cooler piping. Evo 8 inner cooler piping will bolt on. Stop. Um, I'm going to be using, I got here, I got some Evo 8 cam gear. You will have to replace it. Uh, the timing gear, the Hyundai Sonata is different. So you will have to use a 4G63 cam gear. Uh, I got the turbo manifold and the manifold. Um, this is a GT35 turbo. I'm going to be installing in that. Uh, I got a different manifold here that I was using we could use this one but I'm having some issue well, not issue but I want to keep all the AC and the uh, power steering everything the same we could you could use both but it's all dependent to you guys and then if you come here if this this is the Evo A and Evo 9 intake throttle body fuel rail Everything from an Evo 4G63, we're gonna be using that. Here's the Hyundai Sonata head. The one already, I sent the one to the machine shop. This one that I got here is part and polish. I did it myself, part and polish. Both sides, I just gotta get, um, you know, valves for it. New valves, everything, get this head built. Um, now, this is the OEM fuel rail you could use that if you don't have an aftermarket one you could use the evo 8 evo 9 fuel rail oem fuel rail so I'm, this is the important part a lot of people do not know which head gasket which gasket you guys going to be using for that swap so use the hyundai sonata swap uh you gotta make sure if you're gonna make you're gonna be using a head you're going to be replacing the head for if you're going to use any 4g block with a different head make sure to match the head gasket with the head if not it's not it's going to overheat it's not going to work make sure to match the head gasket with the same head that you're going to be using as a sample you're going to see you see here uh one is this one is uh, 4G69, Hyundai uh, 4G69 Mitsubishi Lancer Rally R head gasket. Uh, this is a Hyundai Sonata head gasket. They're both OEM, this is just to compare it. Um, if you guys see here, uh, let me try to see, match it up how it goes, okay? You guys see here, The port of the water port is the only different. You know, that's the different from the head gasket. So this is the Hyundai Sonata head. Everything will fit, both on. Everything, you see the water system. Everything, the oil and water, everything will fit right there in the block. So if you're gonna use this Hyundai Sonata, make sure to match the head gasket. Look at the uh, 4G69 gasket. Since it, it seems it belongs here, it was here, it's gonna fit right on. The only difference, you see the port, water port. The water port is different, it's blocked. This one match, this one is blocked, you see? Same, this one's bigger, it's smaller, it's blocked. So this is 4G69, Hyundai Sonata. Everything is slight different, but it's still the same because it will fit right there in the water port and all that stuff. So remember guys, use the Hyundai Sonata head gasket.
not a, not a different one. You see here, I keep showing showing you guys. This is a 4G69 head, OEM head. I just removed from there. You see here, this is the head gasket for it. So you see the water port that go exactly right there to the head. It matched right there to the port. This is the Hyundai Sonata head gasket. This is the Hyundai Sonata head gasket. You see, it, the port is different. So it's, it get blocked. This is the Hyundai Sonata head. This is the Hyundai Sonata head gasket right now. This is the Hyundai Sonata head gasket. You guys see here, that's the water port and the oil port, you see? It's not blocked, it's matched. So this is, this is the head gasket. This is the 4G69 head gasket. You see the port, let me put it the right way. You see the port right here, it's blocked. It's blocked. The Hyundai is different. So that's why you gotta use the head gas the head gasket that's ma that match with the head with the Hyundai Sonata head. So Hyundai Sonata head gas head gasket. Um, this head is the same head as a uh, 4G63, uh, same as the Evo 8. It got the bowels is the same. Uh, uh, spring retainer is the same. Cam is the same. You could use all that. You could use all that stuff. Um, I'm gonna be putting GSC bowels. GSC spring retainer. We're gonna be using that, um, and then later on, we're gonna ins be installing um cast for it. Let me show you guys. Let me mark this thing up. The Hyundai Sonata head. I'm gonna be putting it here just with two guys, so you guys could see um, about the inner um, turbo manifold, and so you guys could see how it looks. Boop. Here you go, Evo 8, basically an Evo 8 head, basically installed, right? I'm going to be using this Evo 8 manifold, fuel rail, and all that stuff. Everything is going to bolt on. So you guys can see, you guys can see, I'm going to be just mucking this up real quick. If I can through here. This is not make my life difficult. Let me go this way. This is just to mark it up, guys. Bam! Evo 8. Intake. Throttle body. Everything. Both on. Everything both on. Um, this is a 4G64 manifold. This is a 4G64 manifold. I'm gonna, I'm just putting this right here so you guys can see. It will fit right there, but bolt on, right? Let me just put this valve cover so you guys can see kind of mark it up, see how it's looking. Right, you could use this manifold so you could clear the starter. If you use the e, uh, Evo 8 OEM inner um, turbo manifold, it will not fit because it's gonna hit the starter. So that's why you gotta go with the aftermarket one. You could use a 4G64 manifold, that's, this is the one, 4G64, or 4G63 manifold. That way, it will clear your starter. Remember, the Evo starter is on the bottom, this one is on top. So that's why you got problem. If you use this manifold, you're gonna have problem uh, keeping the AC. You will have to eliminate the AC because you gotta do the exhaust. And I'm trying to keep everything stuck and OEM for the guy. So I just took this manifold. I got this manifold for a friend. Got it on the Evo. It will fit right there too, and it will give me that clearing, and more enough clearing forward, and plenty of clearing so that way I could 
build my socks through and make my exhaust. But with this manifold, I will have to use a three inch uh, radiator, a small radiator, sorry. Um, I'm gonna be using a Mishimoto radiator for that. I got it right here for that. Mishimoto radiator, Evo Mishimoto radiator will fit right there, both on stock. Everything has an Evo. Everything is Evo. Remember guys, same thing. Nothing changed. Right there, will fit right there. Bracket, you see here, it will clear your turbo. It will clear your turbo. It will have no, nothing. We're gonna be using um, a spin density. So we're gonna be eliminating the map. So right now this is the setup I'm gonna be using so that we have to keep the AC. My goal is to keep the AC, power steering, everything stuck. We're not gonna be changing the harness. We're gonna use the same harness of the car, uh, Fuji 69, same harness from this car. Uh, this car got uh, white, white wire throttle body, so I'm gonna be using this cable wire. Everything will fit, inner cooler piping, evil, evil piping. You could get an ETS, uh, anything, any evil inner cooler piping that sell already, custom, um, it will fit right there. This one I just got it. You know, send it to the guy so that they could, they could weld the blow up. That will go right there. Everything will fit, both on. That will fit right there. Will you guys see? That will fit everything. Stop OEM. Right there with a 90 degree. So everything's going to be the same from an Evo. It should bolt on. In a curly piping in the bottom. It will bolt on right there. Hopefully I don't have no wrong, no issue doing my exhaust system. So that's my goal, you know, working with my exhaust system. You use the head, if you're gonna be using this head, bring the, the water pipe, the water piping from the back with the housing, these two pieces, just bring it, to, bring it with you guys. Hyundai Sonata, bring it, you gotta be replacing it too. So that way everything will fit right there stuck. Uh, if you use, if you use this manifold, it will work. I'm not saying it's not gonna work, but the exhaust port don't like this small. That's why I went with that one. You know, it's gonna, it's not, I don't like it. So that's why we're gonna be using the other one. We're gonna be replacing that. Uh, for the cam gear and other stuff, you gotta make sure to use a uh, Evo, a 4G63, 4G64, cam, uh, all these timing gear chain, uh, pulley, idle pulley, tensioner, all that stuff from an Evo. I'm gonna be using from an Evo, but you could use from a 4G64 as well. Um, but the cam gear, you gotta be make sure it's from an Evo, 4G63, 4G64. We're gonna be using map sensor, four bar, only four bar map sensor. We're gonna be using speed density. I got for it, um, Bus 2200, 2400cc injector for it too. As for now, we're gonna have the head built, but we're gonna be using a stock bottom end. That's the only issue. Hopefully my goal, my horsepower goal for this car, the guys want 300. I want more, but it's a stock bottom end, so hopefully we could, you know, hit those 450, 500 horsepower with a stock bottom. But, you know, we're risking it. So as of now, everything's going smooth. I'm just waiting for the head to come back from the machine shop. Um, keep tuned, subscribe, share, like, and then there's more video to call, how to install the head and everything. And thank you for you guys and keep watching Dirty Tech.